Hey YouTube, it's uh, Dragon Ruler 1131 here again, and uh, just making a little, uh, little trickery. <laughs> uh, this is a trick I learned about three days ago. It's really cool, really fun, really interesting, and a lot of it's a good effect. Just watch. So here, I have the cards. Have a person pick a card. Um, I'll show it to you. There's your card. There's your spade. Alright. Now, I'm gonna hold, grab that. Put that on top. Now, I'm gonna take these. Yeah, it's new. One handed. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll teach that to you later. Uh, now, just put that in. Close it up. Remember the card's nine of spade. Put that there. And then I wave my hand over it. Stop my fingers. And there it goes jumping right to the top. Now if that's not enough. Then I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside the middle of the deck. I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside of the deck. Alright. So now, now it's inside the middle of the deck. Snap my, snap my fingers. And there it goes jumping right to the top. So now, I'm going to take the card, put it inside the deck, snap my fingers, there it goes jumping right back to the top. Now, again, I'm going to try this again, try to pay attention. I'm going to take the card, and I'm going to put it in inside the deck. Alright, now, now that it's inside the deck. Snap, snap my fingers, and there it goes, jump right to the top. Fine, here, watch this. Put this in your hand. Quickly switch them. This becomes the card, this becomes something else. So, that is the whole, it's uh, a much more simple, it's one of the way of doing the uh, ambitious card routine. It's a uh, simple, short, and the other ambitious card routines are usually lengthy. I could extend it by adding the bending of the card, but I don't want to do that because this is a fresh deck. I just made the, um, I just made the, uh, marking cards, guessing cards video. You should go check it out. Uh, just go to my channel. Check out my latest videos. It's called Guessing Cards Never Get It Wrong. Secret uh Magic Revealed. So uh that is my uh bait my version of the ambitious card routine. And the way it works, I like to start it off with the big shebang. Um this move. Uh where I have the spectator pick a card. They pick that card, which in this case is the Jack of Spade uh Clover. Why did I say spade? Alright, so while I do that, I take this card, put their card on top. Alright. Now I take these cards and I well I can do it right. <laughs> Spread them out. Now I don't know if you saw my move or what I did, but if you didn't see it, you should know that that is not the card. The second card is that card. Now, if you didn't catch that move of how I did that, I'll redo it for you so that way you can see. They have the card, and I have in the deck. Ask them to slide. Ask them to slide it on, so you can see what happens. And there we go. And put this here. And as you can see, the card is on top the entire time. This is some other card. Doesn't really matter what, just some other card. And then I move the top, snap my fingers, and there it goes jumping to the top. So the way that one works is actually much more simpler than it looks. So they do pick a card. We'll just stick with the Jack of Clovers. But while they're taking a look, and if there's more than one person, which usually you would like to have, um, the entire time while they're looking at the card, as you can see, I'm fiddling with my hands here. What you don't see at this angle is the fact that I'm holding a break 
uh, of uh, the first card on keeping it separated from the deck. Now you see, in order to do this without going like this and then doing all that with your hand, all you gotta do is um, buckle the card. And when you buckle the card, the bottom of it should do this. And when that happens, all you gotta do is come in with your hand, put your thumb, put your thumb right in that buckle, and just hold it. So the entire time that they're looking at the card, you should have the bottom break already saved. And then I like to, I'm starting to use this cut where I'm cutting with my hand one-handedly and coming in and grabbing it it's called a Passover cut and um, so you have this break so you're holding it like this so they don't see your break of course here I'm not sliding it on but they come put the card on top and you come and drop it real quick nice and easy right nice and subtle you just put them together real quick nice and subtle and then you spread the card somehow me I'm using my one-handed spread which I still need to practice on, as you can see. But uh, there it is. There's the one-handed spread. Um, Disturbed Reality has some really good fanning tutorials. Look him up. He's a great guy. Has really good videos. Um, another one. I don't know if Scam School has any good fannings. I don't believe so. I haven't seen any. But I know for a fact, Disturbed Reality. Search up his channel really good better than me more experienced look him up he's really good so you take these cards and you put these inside like this and so now as you can see the jack of clovers is still here push that card in grab and there it is snap my fingers and there it goes to the top and that's the first part that's the big shebang of it jumping to the top now the second part of getting it to the top um, I don't I can't remember what it's called but all I know is that I I um I take the deck as so I show it to you in case you haven't seen or figured it out already Ooh. put this like this and just like that put it in so if you didn't see the move the card is second to the top. So as you can see, they are like I just said, uh, second to he is second to last. Now the way that works is um, I don't know the move, but I don't know the name. But so you have the card. So you ha I have the card, and. Um, I raise this card, the front card, at an angle, right? And the first convincer is this bottom, and then I put it here. Now you want to lift it kind of high so it gives the illusion. You gotta hold it. Oh, it's called the Marlowe's Tilt. Um, look it, look it up on Disturb Reality. He has a great tutorial on it. So you see, you come through here, and um. You bend the card just a little bit and move it in as you go. It gives the great illusion that you just put it in the middle of the deck. Reality is that you did not. There it is. Um, he also has a great tutorial on the double lift. He has a, a, a tutorial on the pushover double lift. He also has a, like a tutorial that does this. Well, the right way. I haven't. I don't practice that one so it's it's difficult to do for myself but uh, he shows his personal choice of double lift where he goes like this and then shows the card and uh, flips over or you have the uh, the riffle to the last two cards then you close it up and then there you go um, he has a great he has great uh, tutorials he's really good yeah at what he does Give him a shout out. Tell him that Dragon Ruler 1131 comment that I sent you. Just let him know that uh, I'm getting him out there. He's a really good tutorial guy. Go to him if you don't understand my videos. I'm not going into them as deep as he would. 
So there, my car, the card is second to last. So here I go and I put the card in. You know it's not that card. So here it comes. I do the Marlos tilt again. And there it goes into the middle of the deck. Which obviously you don't you know that's not the case. So now So now there it is second to last. And then um put it in the hand. Usually you tell them to clamp it like this. Close it nice and tight and then uh mark it over like that. There it changes, switches places. And so now that's that's my ambitious card routine. I repeat the Marlow tilt twice and then uh you have the bending the card and then you'll but I started off with that big shebang with the selection of a card. The do my buckle. My buckle. Just take your finger and pull. It buckles the bottom of it. The bottom card. Break. Then I use my uh, Passover cut. Push the card on top. Quickly drop. Don't know what's seeing. Spread. Push fake card in. Close up. Put under. Snap finger. Pull. Surprise, surprise. And then do a Marlowe tilt. Convincer. There it goes right in. And then here. And from here, you go ahead and show the card as top card. Not the case though. Flip back over. Take card, put it inside. There it goes back again. So I do the Marlowe's till again, convince her, and then push it in. And then do, do the lift. And then from here, there it is, the deck closes. And so forth. Here you can push it in, put it in the hand, doesn't really matter. Once it's at the bottom, there's multiple things you can do with the uh, trick. Um, that's pretty much it. And like I've said before, Stay cool, YouTube. Stay cool.